First place Washington Capitals hosts the Toronto Marlies Maple Leafs, featuring Phil Kessel. Not on the team. Uh, Dion. F nope. James Van Rie. Traded. R Roman. James Rhyme. Sorry. I don't even know who's on the team anymore. Featuring Brooks like. Ding. Ovi from the Ovi spot. Gotta be in the zone. But it's a thing that people say. Russian machine. Never no, right. Of course, Mark is your answer. You know what you're doing to me. Obviously, huge story tonight. I mean, everybody's talking about it. Taylor Chorney in uh, for Nate Schmidt. No, that's not what we're talking about, silly. Although apparently Nate Schmidt is hurt with a lower body injury listed day to day. Let's hope it's nothing serious because we don't need like John Carlson and Nate Schmidt and Brooks Orpik all being hurt. Who's behind? Who's? It's been a little over 70 hours and Brooks like is back in the house. Whew. If you did not cry, then you were probably busy looking for your soul. Whether you're a Brooks-like hater or whatever, he was here for 12 years. Dude's got some roots. Starting with the Washington Capitals back in like 2004 and being on them now, like the, the guy's come a long way. You gotta give him respect. Now he's starting all the way over with the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's hard, that's hard. Uh, he seems like he's making the best of the situation. I'm sure it sucks. I personally would, would love for him to get a ring or his name on the cup. I know that that's probably not kosher. Caps win, beat Toronto Maple Leafs. Three to two, three to two, three to two. Doesn't seem like the Caps are putting up the numbers you'd think they were. Granted, I'm complaining about winning. Okay, let's, let's all take a step back. Take a step back. But being complacent is not how you win a Stanley Cup. I don't know that actually, I don't know. I'm a Caps fan. There's not been a complete 60 minutes by the Caps in quite some time, including tonight. Even though they got through the first period with two goals, there was still this second period to worry about. You know, when you're a team that's had terrible first periods, you'd think you'd want to come out in the first period and not have a terrible first period? One of the ways to not have a terrible first period is to not take penalties. For instance, a uh, delay of game and a delay of game and then some sort of roughing, cross-checking... You know what? We'll give it to you. We'll give you three power plays. Just like your ex-girlfriend showing up at your birthday party with another dude. I don't need you no more. And she's right. She doesn't need you anymore. You treated her poorly. Shame. The Capitals wanted to show Brooks like that they didn't need him on the penalty kill anymore. It's like a band-aid, you know? I think close to the end of the first period, you got Evgeny Kuznetsov passing it to TJ Oshie. And then Taylor Chorney, first goal as a capital, Taylor Chorney. Taylor Chorney, top shelf. Sorry, Nate Schmidt. There's a goal for the new dad, Taylor Chorney. Feel the chorn. Imagine a hashtag here. The last time Taylor Chorney scored was 2011, February. Do you know what song was on the Billboard Top 100 in February 2011? If you guess Grenade by Bruno Mars, you are right. If you are in a relationship where you're requiring someone to catch a grenade or jump in front of a train, I suggest you get out. Nicholas Backstrom, Team Sweden. Backhand pass to Team Russia, Alex Ovechkin, for the goal. I definitely think Ovechkin should have gone to the KHL back in 2011. That would have been the right move. He's washed up. All right, we can all talk about Ovechkin's goal, right? I mean, like, great job, number 41. Technically number 516, you're, you know, 36th on the NHL scoring list. But can we talk about Backstrom's pass? How high did I just get? Can we talk about... Because that was sick! A huge reason why Alex Ovechkin has so many goals is because he's an incredible goal scorer. Another reason is Nick Backstrom and his incredible talent. His all-star talent. Nick Backstrom all-star. That's fun to say. At the end of the first, the Leafs take a penalty, but it results in nothing for the Caps. Speaking of first goals, beginning in the second period, Sashnikov. Oh my Sash. Sashnikov. Oh my Sash. Sashnikov gets his first NHL goal. And then afterward, proceeds to run into Grubauer. Um, and Niskanen doesn't like that. Stop that, Sash. You stop that. You stop that. You stop that. At some point in the second period, Johansson, Johansson, Johansson. Bernier said no. Mm -hmm. So that was exciting for my beliefs fans. This didn't result in a goal, but Andre Burkowski's drive in the middle of the second period was. Mm. He makes me really excited for the Caps' future. Unless the future of this franchise is going to trade him away. How dare you bring that up? As I'm recording this, they're showing Philip Forsberg highlights in the background. So, thanks.
I'm dead on the inside. A bad pass, Oshi intercept, drives to the goal and no goal because it's TJ Oshi and it's 2016. Oshi had three assists and you know, he did write when he was a child that assists are better than goals or I don't know what that crap is. In the third period, Kadri, 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 up high, hits the puck into the goal, goal, no goal, we're not playing baseball. You must be this high to score a goal or I don't know. All alone in the high slot, former Ottawa Senator Colin Greening gets a goal. It's like his second in a while or ever. Ties it up for the Toronto Maple Leafs. 2-2. The Cavs had one shot in 9.5 minutes. 9.5 minutes. So the Cavs need some life. They need some energy. Sajikovs gets two minutes for boarding. Bad boy Carl Alsner. Bad boy Carl Alsner. Just the thing the Caps needed, because as soon as you could say power... Goal! Matt Niskanen with a Niskanen. <laughs> to bring the Caps back into the lead, 3-2. to two. And that's where we'd wrap up, because the rest of the third period was... I'm trying to pull their goalie, they had a couple chances, I mean, whatever. Uh, apparently Winnick played well tonight. I don't know if I noticed, to be honest with you. In conclusion, how many games are Caps fans sitting there saying, Ah, gross game, but we won. And, and when are we going to stop saying that? Is, is this going to go into and through the playoffs? I don't want it to. I want to win by seven goals again. I want the Caps hitting pucks all over the place. I want people fearing this team not by one goal, but by five. Couch GMs. What do you think the solution is to Barry Trotz's team not playing a full 60 minutes? How does TJ Oshie start scoring? And what cap leaving would cause the most amount of crying besides Brooks like? Thanks a lot, guys. As always, crash the comments with your thoughts. And, uh, you know, if you liked it, go watch Steve Dangle, <laughs> honestly, because he does this way better. Kisses. Oh, my knees. Groovy, 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 groovy!